Hi everyone, my name is Dan. In this video, we're going to walk through the benefits of using the Headcount Driver tab. I've already set up my Headcount Driver tab, but to do something like this, you simply select the blue plus, you can say Headcount, and you can select the Headcount uh, option. It's going to generate two tabs, one for input, one for output. We're going to kick off with the input tab. So it starts with a blank worksheet where we can add individual employees. Now you may want to type these in, uh, alternatively you may have a file from your payroll system that you've exported already. In this case I already have a file. You could also download a template if you need to, uh, to populate that before importing it in. I'm going to select this file and it's going to then give me a mapping screen where I can map the fields that I have in my um, headcount file with the fields that I need to populate for my headcount tab. Hit import. In this case there is some validation uh, whereby uh, these are the dimensions that it's showing from my file but in my database this actually needs to be United States, UK and Australia. Now my data has been imported um, I can see I have a list of employees here, which region they belong to, when they started, and their base uh, bonus and commissions. What I then have the ability to do is add further employees. So for my budget period, there might be uh, a new hire. I'm going to select a region as US, and I can select a start date in the period. For example, to start in July, 50,000 base. Over here to the right, we have any adjustments we need to make to the remuneration. So for the purposes of this example, we're going to give everybody a 5% pay increase, effective from uh, September. I can drag that down. I can then also make any changes we need to make to bonus or commission. So for example, Let's assume that Juliet here is going to get a $2,000 bonus. Out to the right, I can also terminate employees if, I, if we need to. So we're going to assume that Daisy uh, is planning to leave the company in uh, August this year. And then we have the ability to add benefit plans. So if I was to jump into this little cog here, I can create more benefits. I've already added some uh, benefits here, but we're going to add an extra one here for gym memberships that is going to be a fixed amount. So we have the option here of a fixed amount or a percentage of remuneration. This is going to be a fixed amount and it's going to be $250. I then select which account this belongs to, which is going to be employee benefits for this example. Once I've created my benefits, I can then allocate those benefits to benefit plans. I've created three standard plans for each region that have different benefits in each. I now want to create a, a US premium plan that is going to have my 401k, it has my internet reimbursement just like my standard plan, there's a travel allowance and that gym membership. We're also adding the gym membership to, for example, the Australian Standard Plan. I can hit save and close. Once I'm happy with my benefit plans, I can then assign those plans to my employees. This will then calculate the value of benefit for the employee to arrive at a total budgeted cost for the period. I can still use workflow if I needed to assign this to uh, somebody else in the uh, business. Um, alternatively, if we're happy with it, if I was to click over to my main tab and for example open up my salaries and wages, I can see that these accounts are all being driven and they're being driven from my headcount tab. There is also the heads output here. This breaks down my um, employees by FTE and heads by month. The reason this can be really handy is if we need to, uh, we've got costs in our budget which are variable based on the number of FTEs or heads we have. As an example, we might search for 
office consumables and I know roughly uh, the cost is $120 per employee. So for Australia, that's going to be $120 multiplied by my Australian heads. I can then copy that forward and I can also copy that down. Now those references are going to be relative, so now that I'm in my US, my office consumables, you can see I'm referencing my US heads. Uh, so that is how we can use our headcount driver to populate uh, more detail in our main budget. Thank you for watching.